Hi folks, I'm Tristan from Scalar Music, here with another exciting Scalar 3 pre-release feature reveal video. This time we're talking about the Arrange View. Now the Arrange View is certainly one of the most exciting and substantial new additions to Scalar 3 compared to Scalar 2, as far as introducing new ways of working and opening up all sorts of new possibilities. Now there's a lot to cover in Arrange View and we're not going to talk about everything today, we'll save a lot of details for future videos. Here I just want to give you a quick idea of what Arrange View is, how it works, and how it makes your life easier as a musician and composer working with Scalar 3. So at the very top of the Arrange view, we have the main track, and this is your primary chord progression. This is the same thing that you see at the bottom of the Browse page in Section C. So it works very similar to Section C in Scalar 2. This is where you can create your own custom chord progression. Back on the Arrange page, whenever you add an additional track, that track will automatically play in tune and follow the chords of your main track. So it's really cool being able to add additional tracks like bass parts, rhythm parts, and have them automatically play in time with your chord progression without having to worry about it. Here for example, I have my main track with my chord progression being played by a simple synth sound. And then I've added a bass part. The bass part is playing a bass motion to make the performance more interesting, but as you can see, it's automatically adapting itself to my chord progression. So whenever my main track changes chord, my bass track also changes chord. When you first create a new track, such as this bass track, Scalar 3 will create one long MIDI clip throughout the entire song. As you can hear, the chords change, but the bass part continues uninterrupted. This generally works very well. However, sometimes you may prefer for the bass motion to re-trigger from the beginning at certain points. This was actually the default behavior in Scalar 2, and it's very easy to accomplish here in Scalar 3. All we need to do is select the scissor tool and cut our MIDI clip whenever we want the motion to re-trigger. So let's make it re-trigger whenever these chords change. Okay, very cool. Now on top of this, I've also added a marimba part playing an interesting rhythm, still following my chord progression. And on top of that, I've added an arpeggio track with a guitar sound. Now at the moment, each of my tracks is just playing the same motion from start to finish. If we'd like for the motion to change at any point on any of these tracks, again, that's as simple as selecting our scissor tool and chopping our clip whenever we'd like the motion to change. For example, let's make our arpeggiator part change at the beginning of these bars. I'll grab my second clip here, head down to the motion browser, and let's change this to a different arpeggio pattern. Okay, let's have a listen to it now. So this has been an early brief look at Scalar 3's Arrange page. Keep in mind this is still a pre-release build I'm working with, so some of what you're seeing is still subject to change. And of course there's still plenty we haven't shown yet, both on the Arrange page and in the rest of Scalar 3 sections. So keep an eye on the official Scalar Music Forum and the YouTube page for more videos and announcements coming soon. Thanks for watching.